air hunting doesn't just take the form of fast-paced searches and heavy competition. Far removed from the rat race, in the Sussex town of Burgess Hill, are an air hunting duo of a different kind. Charles Kerr, the Lord Teviot, is a hereditary peer and works alongside his wife Mary under their individual company names of Census Searches and Elliot and Whitmy. You've got it, you found the thing. I found it. Mary and Charles prefer to work the less competitive cases, thought too small to take on by other companies, and have a particular interest in family stories. I think one of the nice parts is that you are able to sometimes put people in touch with uh, relations that they had no idea that existed, or they knew that existed, but had no idea what had actually happened to them in the intervening period. Mary's work isn't just limited to the UK. She's researched a number of estates on behalf of the Office of Public Trustee in Canada. When someone dies in test date, they find it useful having a contact like Mary in the UK. Very often from the public trustee, one gets cases with a, a UK background. And it's always interesting because so many people went from uh, different parts of the world to Alberta that it wasn't always just run-of-the-mill um, UK research. One of the cases Mary was asked to work on was that of Joan Mansfield, a British national born in India who died in Calgary in 1996. She never married or had children, and she didn't make a will. So who was entitled to her £30,000 estate? The only information that one had right at the very beginning was that she had a brother. And I think the brother was in New Zealand, and he had already died. So it was really very much a question of starting from scratch. Mary had limited information, but knew that Joan and her family had spent most of their lives in colonial India. She plotted the family connections she had so far on paper. The first thing I did was a, a, a rough draft of a Mansfield tree, and I put down Joan's birth date, and I put down that she had a brother that one knew about, who was called Ivan William. And from there, the next thing one had to do was to see whether she had any other siblings. There was already a 10-year age gap between Joan and her brother Ivan, and in order to gauge how many further siblings there might be, Mary was looking for her parents' marriage date. As she was born in India, the next port of call was to go to the British Library and to actually see the uh, birth or baptism and burial and marriage registers, etc. It's good news to look for, for certificates, that, uh, for events that took place actually in India because the, they were very meticulous about their record keeping. One was able to actually find Joan's parents' marriage because that rather gave us a window of how many other children they might possibly have.